you guys back again. This is going to be uh, probably pretty short because I let my glue dry overnight as well. So my dye is dry. Um, and what I've done is where I've gotten past my lines, I took my pattern and I remarked my lines. And the spots where the dye got, I went and scored that. Uh, just so to let the glue stick a little better in those spots. So we're just going to take and apply glue to both sides. And again, it's just my usual. <laughs> I tend to like the smaller bottles as opposed to the big, big tubs of it because uh, that's just easier to handle. Brush it on. I take it all the way to the edge. Mostly because I'm using an edge coat, and it's not going to hurt anything. You won't notice if there's glue up to the edge. There's also there's a lot of uh, great leather workers on YouTube. I know that uh, Dino does some fabulous leather work, and I'll link his channel below too. He does some really great stuff. He and I both have, uh, you know, we have different styles, and everybody does. Um, Ian Atkinson, I watched him a lot before I started. Um, you know, and he's got some really really great leather work too. Uh, at some point, I'm going to get into some uh, carving, which I'm really looking forward to, but I know is, it's time-consuming to learn, and you can only get so much from a video, because you, you don't have that human interaction in the video. And you can always ask questions, and you know if the carver gets back to you, it's great. I belong to a couple of leather working forums and the, the folks there are fantastic as well. But uh, carving is, is it definitely takes a lot of time uh, and a lot of patience to learn what you're doing with all your, your swivel knife and your carving tools and stuff because it's a whole different game. <laughs> to say the very least. Um, and most of my work has been pretty pretty low key, I guess you'd say. I mean I don't I've done a few things with dyes and stuff to, to add a little more visual interest to in my projects, but uh, yeah. Some of these guys are really, really phenomenal leather carvers. And it's just it's something I'm not much of an artist. My wife is an artist and uh, she paints and sculpts. And uh, yes, I do mine and leather. So I would like to do the, the carving I know can add to uh, some of my work. I do a little stamping, but really, stamping isn't that, you know. It's not like carving. <laughs> I've practiced a little in learning how to, to handle something like a swivel knife. You can watch a lot of videos, but until you do it, you just don't know. Uh, I'm going to start getting into some lacing, too. Lacing is another thing that um, takes a great deal of patience. It's, it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, I'm working on a few other projects. My daughter's found some leather that she liked when she was picking up my last leather load from Tandy. And uh, she found something that she liked and she wants a handbag out of it. So that will be... I've never done a handbag, but hey. <laughs> How hard can it be? You know? 
Aside from maybe she's a little picky, but that's okay. I don't think she's that picky. But I want to do a wallet to go with it, and I'm going to lace the wallet. I took her through some photos online, and she's found some designs that she likes. This contact cement is it's very strong and I've been using I've been using this particular brand for quite some time. Um, and contact cement is <coughs> gives you a very good uh, Back up. I'll be back in a couple minutes. All right. Glue is tacky. Not 100% of dry. You want to line up your two pieces, and I just usually will just start this way. Making sure my ends match up. I've done that. I'll grab, you can just any kind of a mallet. I grab my cobbler's hammer and tap it real good so that I work all the air on. super carried away by, you know, really wailing on it. Um, I've had this hammer a long time. The handle shows some wear and abuse. Well, mostly just abuse. <laughs> and someday I'll make a new handle for it, but, and, you know, refurbish the hammer. The face could use a little work, a little polishing, um, you know, and that kind of thing. But other than that, you know, these cobbler hammers, you can get them on eBay pretty reasonable and I just like the cobbler's hammer uh, I do need to get a better another mallet uh, probably I'll get a, a wood or plastic one but someday anyway here we go at this point it's gonna have to sit and dry again and then we'll transfer our stitch lines to what will be the outside of the holster will give everything a finished sand around the edges and a quick burnish and the only reason I do a quick burnish on it is so that my stitch groover will uh, follow along nice and smooth <coughs> anyway we'll be back um, after this is all dry so that's your glue up and uh, stay safe God bless and we'll be back later <coughs>